Bitcoin core developer Loop Dash calls out unauthorized ordinal NFT with his name. The auction for the ordinal was being hosted at Scarce.City, a new ordinal marketplace. Alex Thorne, head of firm wide research Galaxy, here Alex Thorne share his take on Bitcoin and inflation. It's complicated at consensus 2023. Secure your seat. Alex Thorne, head of firm wide research Galaxy, here Alex Thorne share his take on Bitcoin and inflation. It's complicated at consensus 2023. Secure your seat. Alex Thorne, head of firm wide research Galaxy, here Alex Thorne share his take on Bitcoin and inflation. It's complicated at consensus 2023. Secure your seat. Alex Thorne, head of firm wide research Galaxy, here Alex Thorne share his take on Bitcoin and inflation. It's complicated at consensus 2023. Secure your seat. One of the core developers of Bitcoin is disavowing an auction for an ordinal that incorporated some of the code he contributed to the digital asset protocol. I was not involved with the creation and sale of this or any other NFTs. I have not consented to the use of my code or my name for this purpose, Luke Dash, one of the Bitcoin core developers, tweeted. Due to the misrepresentation involved in actual buyer confusion, I strongly insist upon 100% of the auction proceeds to be refunded to the buyer. NFTs have been plagued with forgery, plagiarism, and other copyright issues. As Coindesk has previously reported, OpenSea said that at one time nearly 80% of the NFTs on its shared storefront were plagiarized works, fake collections, and spam. The auction was hosted on Scarce.City, a new marketplace for ordinal NFTs. Without identifying the auction winner, Dash follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.